Hey guys, welcome to Game Jammin'. Today we are going to be doing an analysis of Soldier 76 versus McCree. What we're going to try to do is look at the important statistics like accuracy, damage, heals, and everything else about a character and see if there's anything we can learn when we compare low-ranking SR players to high-ranking SR players. First, let's take a look at the stats that I'm looking at that I think are relevant. All the statistics are generated by a per minute level, with the exception of critical accuracy and shot accuracy, which is just an overall number. Starting with McCree, here are the low ranking and high ranking SR players and their stats. So take a moment to absorb it in, and then let me focus you in on a few areas that I think are important. The highest changes between low ranking and high ranking players is critical hits, objective time, and critical accuracy. Landing headshots is kind of to be expected of better players. But what's interesting to note is objective time talks about a fundamental strategy difference between low players and higher ranking players. Higher ranking players are spending more time on the objective. Now let's switch our attention to the biggest drop in stats, which was in ultimate kills. You'll see that the stat drops the most out of any other stat here on this list. What appears to be happening is that higher SRs, it is harder to land ultimate kills. Therefore, McCrees are focusing on the objective as opposed to trying to land crazy high noons. Now let's switch our attention over to Soldier 76 and see what else we can learn. Looking at the stats between low ranking players and high ranking players, we'll find that nearly the same stats are relevant to Soldier as McCree. Critical accuracy, critical hits, and shot accuracy. Landing consistent headshots is just as important to Soldier as it is to McCree. What isn't as important, however, is objective time. What I think is happening here is that higher ranking SR players are focusing on getting high ground and securing kills, as opposed to sitting on the objective and leaving that to the tanks. Now, let's switch over to another statistic that we can look at called correlation. Correlation is just studying the relationship between two numbers. The definition will be up on the screen, but basically we're looking for numbers that are closer to 1 or to negative 1 to indicate positive or negative correlations. So here are the correlations for Soldier 76. Now let's focus in on the top three correlations, shot accuracy, damage, and critical hits. The more damage you do to the enemy team, the better. Now let's flip this around and look at the negative correlations, and you'll see here that objective time and objective kills are not as important to a high ranking SR player. And I think the reason why is they're leaving the kills on the objective to the tanks and going around killing other players that are off the objective. Now let's go back to McCree and see what we can learn from his correlations. When we zoom in here, you'll notice the exact same categories for Soldier correlate for McCree as well. Getting more damage done or landing more of your shots are all good for your team and generally correlate to a higher SR. So let's flip this around and look at the negative correlations. As you can see here, solo kills and ultimate kills have a negative correlation for high SR players. What this is demonstrating is that teams are working to together more at higher levels, so solo kills are not as important. Likewise, ultimate kills are hard to land at higher levels, so McCrees are focusing on working with their team as opposed to going around and trying to get the high noons. Now we get to the part that we've all been waiting for, comparing high-level McCrees versus high-level soldiers to see what we can learn. Now I'm going to throw away critical hits, critical accuracy, and shot accuracy, considering they both have different weapons, and it doesn't work the same way like that. But if we focus on, down on the stats, the biggest changes between McCree and soldier are damage, ultimate kills, and objective kills. Ultimate kills we already talked about in detail, but damage is a clear difference between the two of them. An extra 300 damage a minute is crucial in helping in the Reinhardt to Reinhardt battles that are common at high ranking SRs. McCree seems to excel at solo kills and objective time. In a tank meta where you have three other heroes that can also stay on the objective, objective time is not as important. Similar to this, solo kills are not important because teamwork is so much more valuable. So what's the takeaway after all these stats? I mean, the numbers are, are information, but I guess what we want to try to understand is what are the differences between these two characters, and where do they excel? If you look at it, you can kind of see that Soldier does more damage, has be a better ult, and is generally a better survivor. 
However, where McCree excels in is generally on objective time and being rewarded for landing headshots. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what I was doing, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe in the case you want to see the next analysis. Uh, I haven't picked what the next character is going to be, so what I'm going to do is, in the comments below, I'm going to have three different topics. If you can help me out and thumbs up the one you want to see, that will be what I'll focus on next. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!